excellent prowess at getting rid of Cloud off the stage. Some That's very true. Savage edge guards there. And one of the better matchups against him in Smash 4. Yes. Yes. But I'd say overall, Nyra's put the most time into the Goddess of Light. All right, so here we go. Buttons have been set. Let's see what he's going to do to Sandbag. You know? Well, I wanted to see a Twitter comment. <laughs> I don't think that's necessary. I think they just want to get in, get into the swing of things. By the way, something notable about Smash Ultimate is we see Nairo actually using custom controls. Yes, that right. is, of course, going through Smash 4. He played the entire game with the default controls, but he's making a slight adjustment this time oh, around. Just high sensitivity, nothing else. OK. Interesting. And you know, for a player who uses Smash Stick, I feel like it's very strange, right? Because if anything, it might get in the way of your ability to microspace with walking. That said, Nairo's never been the type. Yeah. He's always been in your face. I just want to run. I don't want to accidentally walk, right? I want to dash and go and kill you, might be what he's saying with his control toys. I mean, this is somebody that was using uh, Smash Stick with Ryu. Yes. In yeah, Ball yeah, characters. yeah. And still able to beat people. Yeah, still able to, like, get effortlessly walk forward, up till all that stuff. I don't know how he's a magician. We've always said that Nairo's an alien back home, <laughs> and I think that has a lot to do with it. Of course, another one of my homeboys from the good old state of New Jersey. Yep. Here is the Palutena coming out. Just a quick button check from both these players. Obviously, Nairo making sure that his uh, the down on the control stick works properly. <laughs> He's practicing his taunts for online. All right, here we go. After one fight. Oh, Rain! <laughs> <laughs> Look at them. <laughs> They're laughing it off. Uh, that's that's the best part about Smash, man. Win or lose, this game brings people together. You get to have a great yeah. time with either your friends or you know people from the other side of the world that mm. you might not even be able to fully communicate with. But this language is universal. Yeah. We got literally people from two two opposite ends of the world. We got Tri-State. We got Japan. And literally in the previous game, we also had an American versus Japanese player. Just yep. And then East versus everywhere. West Coast with Sinji and um, yep. and Zenyu. Yeah. So much diversity here at Genesis 6 and in the Smash community in general. Anybody who's anybody, come through, join this amazing community, and hey, you could be the next Nairo or Rain. Now, one a feature of Rain's cloud, particularly in this game, is that it uses very liberal use of that Klim has it out of shield. That move being a lot more reliable of an out of shield option now that you, the opponent cannot tech means that Rain is using that a lot in this game. Rain already pressed to the edge, 70, 65% down here. But Cloud, very devastating character on hit. Landing up air chains, not what they used to be, but still able to juggle you like it's nobody's business. And now suddenly that gap is closed significantly. Rain aggressively coming down with that down air. And all of a sudden, the percent lead has gone into Rain's favor, and he takes the first stock. Nairo, you can see him leaning, adjusting in his seat. Of course, we can see that. You guys can't, but that means it's business time. Yes, that is that is the play. When a when a player goes from sitting back in their chair to leaning forward, that's when you know that they're trying to get in the zone. It's like I will sacrifice my posture and my spinal health just to get this <laughs> W, and no one's gonna stop me. Trying to punish the Klim Hazard, and he's going to take a good chunk of damage for it. Yeah, if you're just slightly off the mark on that, you can eat a lot of damage. Of course, the spike bouncing you off the ground just gives Cloud a ledge hop up air opportunity. Oh, Rain with the creative stuff. Halting his cross slash uh, pressure right there, just going into a climb hazard. And every time he lands one of those climb hazards, it's a clean 15% for Rain. And the huge damage from the cross slash as well. Nairo needs to take the stock, and he does with that back throw. Just whipping him backward there. But we still see Nairo bleeding out heavily on the second stock here. 130. Now back here by the edge will certainly be the end of it. Yeah, now you know that Nairo is going to want to look for that neutral air in order to start uh, start his own strings of damage. There you go, right there. Amazing player, Pixel. And there we go. Only one this time. Yep, that platform's available for Rain to check on. Player, cut the pressure short Please from Nairo. There we go. Slips off and back airs to close it out. Nairo down to his last breath. Well, last stock. Only 18% on Rain. Okay, here we go. Call the jump with the fair. Doesn't fully capitalize though. Ooh, the point blank auto reticle. I like that. Very, very sass. ballsy. All right. Catch the jump once again. And this should be an edge guard. There we go. Nairo back in this immediately. 
Nairo showing you what to do against players who use directional air dodge from the deep top corners to come back, especially characters like Cloud and Krom with basically only vertical recoveries. Yes. There's so much downtime, you can just go out there and smack them again. Oh, Nairo cooking right now. Very smart of Rain not to expand his jumps, to drift to the ledge. Right, he's got his wings. Let's get them off though. Once again, the Klim has it coming out. These are ridiculous from Rain. There's no fear whatsoever. Throwing out a DP in neutral. And in the scramble. We see once again Nairo trying to aim for that high, potential high recovery with the jump. Rain is going to spend his limit. He knew he was close to that 15 second mark. Build some momentum for himself. Clear the way with Blade Beam. Oh, that R back here though. Nairo in a great position. Oh, doesn't catch the landing though. And now Rain is back on stage. This is looking very, very scary for both players. Just a bit too slow with that down tilt there from Rain, but still going to pick up another cross slash here. Non limit variant. Now potentially going to see the blue one come out. Oh, and, and there it go. is. What a ballsy limit cross slash coming out from Rain. He will take game one in emphatic fashion. Nairo looking a bit lost at the early stages of that match, but then showed just how powerful he is when he has momentum, mm -hmm. taking the second stock right underneath Rain's feet. But just not enough gas in the tank to clutch it out. Possibly a character switch in order from Nairo. Again, he's been dabbling with so many different characters here. Palutena, of course, the most solid among them. But, I don't know, Palutena looked pretty good. It just seemed like he started off on the wrong foot to begin with. Yeah, definitely see him sticking to the Palutena. That was definitely a close game. But Nairo is quite an interesting character. When he has his, uh, when he when he takes losses like that, sometimes even if it's close, he will uh, go for a switch. So I wouldn't be too surprised if he did switch to Lucina here, going to a smaller stage in Smashville. I feel like in the mind of Nairo, if he barely lost, that means if he's gonna switch, he thinks he could smoke you with that character. Mm. But no, it looks like he's going to stick to his guns here. It's Palutena yet again locked in on Nairo's side. Rain just taking a breather before he selects Cloud, but you already see his cursor in place. I don't think there's any reason for this man to switch. Yeah, I mean, well, he can't switch. Uh, well, yes, that's true. Yeah. He already had to have declared his character. Mm -hmm. Unless he told Nairo, like, yeah, I'm going Falco. Yeah. <laughs> and then Nairo's like, all right, cool, I'm staying Palu. Either way, Smashville tightening the quarters, as you said, Viram. We'll see another strong opening here from Rain. I love the dash back hit of up tilt. There we go, the neutral air is coming out in full force. Triple into the forward air. Nairo just backing off, not looking for the spike. Knew he had to respect Rain just to some degree there. Either way, gonna catch the neutral, get up with a back air, an explosive flame, and almost the auto reticle to follow. A good directional air dodge coming out from Nairo to avoid the blade beam. Now another edge guard situation. Yeah, Rain keeping himself, I'm sorry, Nairo keeping himself afloat and invincible just for a couple extra frames to avoid that limit. Yeah, great empty jump grab coming out from Nairo right there. Yeah, Palutena's aerial so scary, it's very tempting to block against her. Going for the up air instead of the forward air. Forward air would have definitely taken Rain's stock right there, but Nairo still keeping the, uh, keeping the momentum alive. Beat that get up attack with the forward air, unless it just whip underneath him. Good. Nairo, all oh, these edge guards are crazy. The roll not going to cross up, and Nairo finding himself in the one stock lead here. 84, not necessarily at risk of death unless limit cross slash by the edge comes through. And you know, you could see immediately what Nairo is planning now. He, instead of going for a down throw to go for a combo, he goes for a back throw to try to force Rain off stage. He wants to keep him in that pressure situation instead. Keep making him sweat and potentially get a huge extension of your lead by taking an early stock rather than just building damage with the bread and butters. Again, trying to catch that jump with the forward air. A little bit off on the mark this time. Limit Blade Beam, yes, that is enough. Okay, Nairo, even stocks now, but decent lead. This is not a man who's going to sit back on this lead at all, though. He's going to try to extend it further and further, keep rushing Rain down. Again, his goal is to make him sweat. There we go, Slim has him coming out once again. Great empty jump grab. The way that he's working around Rain's landing so far has been really, really superb. That should be the stock, clearly. There we go. Don't directional air dodge out there against this guy. He will find that, he'll take a stock, or he'll just hit you back out and make you do it again. Beautiful pivot grab right there from Nairo. I've seen a lot of climb hazard ones from Rain though, and not going on the way down. Could have saved his life in that exchange before. And yeah. there we go, that's the end of Rain.
Game three scenario here, who's gonna take it? US versus Japan. Yeah, very, very strong showing from Myro that time. He was able to really, really push his advantage in that game the way that we're used to seeing from Naira. Right. Now we've got a heated battle between the East Coast and the Far East right now. Heated battle indeed. I wonder if we're going to see any potential character switches from Rain or if he's going to stick with that cloud. I remember back in Smash 4, he had quite a few characters in his pocket alongside that cloud. I believe he had the Sheik as well, particularly in the early days, and I think the Diddy Kong. Yes, and he also had a Bayonetta by the end of it all. Yes. Don't think we'll be seeing her. Diddy is a possibility, and Sheik just one of those characters who seem to fall out of favor in Ultimate. So yeah. many other characters can do what she used to be able to do and do it a little bit better, hit a little bit harder in the process. Yeah. Sheik's, Sheik having reduced damage output in a game where the entire cast damage output has been brought up yeah. means that she really has to just continuously win neutral more so than most other characters. And even though her neutral game has always been very, very strong, it, a lot of people don't think it's strong enough to justify uh, just how much you have to win neutral. Right, everyone with a very strong neutral game now because you can do all your tilts out of a dash. Such a liberating feeling for all these characters who have been able to do that or apply that kind of pressure. Had to rely on things like Perfect Pivots and Smash 4 to do it on the move like we were talking about from YouTube. But here we go, you know the Pokemon League gonna be the final choice for stage here. And I like this pick. It's a little grimy on Rain's end, Rain's end right? Yeah, the, the, the teleport. Out of the teleports, yeah. Forcing Nairo to uh, teleport from slightly to the side. He can't recover from directly below the ledge, otherwise he will get caught. Oh, excellent catch on that limit, Klim has it. That is going to be the stuff. Beautiful stuff to Nairo. Rain, he still had a chance. If he had just dipped lower and sweet spotted his climb hazard, he would have been able to preserve that stock. The read Nairo went for with the forward smash would not have covered that. But he went for the panic early up B. Oh, and he's dead yet wow. again. Even with the wall jump, not gonna matter. Rain going down to one stock in only 40 seconds. Nairo just, Nairo has found that oppressive stride that he's so good at fighting. That's one of the things that defined him as one of the best in the world in Smash 4. Just his ability to crush any opponent in advantage. Been running the same game plan since 2011. Just beat your face until you can't take it anymore. Rain looking like he's ready to tap out here, but still fighting just a little bit. Good DI in coming out from Naira, and again, he's just finding all these aerial strikes, just preventing Rain from really landing properly. Oh, Rain looking for any way to get the stock off. Spends his limit cross slash. Of course, didn't have much time left. Wow. See a three stock finish from Nairo. A crushing victory from Nairo in that final game. You know, game 